Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are the Arcade Tokens. I'm Patrick Cloud. Neil Thomas, A.K. Mr. Slick Living. I am the Anomaly Will Ferrell. And this is a special Nintendo episode of the podcast. It is the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Bros. They just dropped a crazy rollout. Um, they, they basically, I don't, I don't think we'll, we'll show any video footage of it, but they are dropping a toy uh, that lets you play Mario Kart using AR throughout your house um, with your Switch, which That's, is like, I think Dude, nobody even asked for that, but. All right, <laughs> for sure. That's dope. I mean, I feel like, like which cart would y'all get? Off top, I gotta get Mario. But you gotta wonder are they gonna roll out? All we saw was Mario and Luigi. Will they roll out the rest of the characters? Do you know? You the know Toad coming out. It's gonna be you the fastest. Toad gotta get a Toad and a Peach. Yeah. Like, I'd probably get. The is is it bad that I want to buy a house just for this? Like, no. That's oh my God. Imagine designing a house specifically for this. And you no, no, but just imagine that's what you go to your realtor first. So um, about the floor spacing, I'm just buying this to play Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> if you have any listings that work for these conditions? Because I have a lot of <laughs> I, I want jumps. <laughs> Carpet, when you got carpets, it's like, yo, it's never going to work. Like, I used to hate getting an RC for, like, Christmas because I'm like, it's not going to be as fast. I got to go outside to play with it. I want to play with it in the house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta make some space, or I'm sure people are gonna like start doing stuff in parks or like outside arenas or something. Yeah, like that. Okay. and I think like street wise too, like you would be good. Like if you were or like driveway, I think driveway for like those that don't have anything, like a driveway yeah. or a parking lot, actually would be really dope. Because like if you kind of know your parking lot, you can put it under the cars and stuff like right. that, exactly. do some stuff and everything. So there's a lot yeah, of ways to do it. Too. I wonder oh, yeah. how. Toys are too, but I, I wonder how the actual communication works. Is it is it, is it Wi-Fi? Is it going to be di direct connection to it? Is you know what I mean? Like how is it going to send that that camera that camera uh, video feedback? I'm sure it's going to be Wi-Fi in the house like usual. But if you try to go anywhere else, would it would it would it work outside? Oh, I'm sure the range isn't crazy yet. It, but, yeah, because uh, they kept yeah, the room, for a living room. Yeah, they kept a living room with it. So right. Yeah. And, and seeing, they, them, seeing them do the overhead view when they redid the map several different ways, I was like, right. okay, so are the the little uh, markers, the placemat little things, yeah. do they have a like a system in that where it knows where one, two, three, and four are I'm within sure. the screen? I'm sure that's how they have it set up. Yeah, that's how that's how it's supposed to. The markers that you put down, it'll yep. you select which I probably you'll select which track you're putting for, and you'll they'll give you instructions on how to sit it down. Yeah, that's pretty it, they, all had, they all had numbers on it too, so it was like one, yeah. two, three, four. So they probably numbered. You right. gotta set it up a particular way. But anyway, it's gonna, it should be dope. It should be dope. Yeah. I'm thinking though, these things might not be as fast as we're thinking they are. They that's can't weird. really. Yeah, because you remember when they showed the the shell. So for anybody who's if this is hard to envision, it's basically using I can AR. Pull up the footage. I can pull up the footage. Uh, if you want me to? Yeah, just no sound. It's kind of yeah. just like uh, it's kind of just like how po Pokemon Go was, where you could see your your you know your room, but you'll see like a little Pokemon there. Uh, right. so you'll be, be you'll be able to see uh, your character go through these um, you know your your house with all these other characters. You could throw shells at each other, and the other car will stop if it hits a banana or a shell. It's actually pretty dope. Pretty dope, man. It's a great idea, great concept. Great. I would have never thought Nintendo would have rolled out something like that, like physical. Like, when's the last time you guys had an RC? Does anyone remember the Twister? Yes, the red one where the front of the the front wheels would spin like a like a cyclone and make. Oh the, right, right, right. Y'all remember that crazy ass car? You had that one. I remember those? We had one of those for sure. We had that one, and the the one that flipped over and was a whole different car. But like that's oh, the last okay. time I ever seen an RC. But I would have never thought, yo, video game, yeah. Super Mario, it cross paths. That's amazing. I'm just ready to see who's gonna like mod something in their backyard, like Hot Wheels wise, and then turn that into a track. Right? Or when they start giving you more than four uh, yeah. things to put down and people go through, like, you, you know how elaborate people on the internet yeah. are. Yeah. That's what I'm excited about. That's what I'm excited to see. Just like how elaborate are people gonna get with this? And especially in their house, because like you just see it from the floor. Like imagine, like we said, when people start trying to build tracks that go onto the shelves and then come down. Is that is that Bowser? Is that Bowser Jr. or is that that's the kid? That's Bowser Jr.'s kids right there. Or that's. In but video. can you so, can you select your character even if it's not the same guy? Like imagine oh, if you got like the Mario Kart. Mario? Yeah, yeah, but I it's wonder. like Bowser. That might get confusing. It would. My question is, is this Mario, is, would this just be a new mode unlocked in Mario Kart? Or is this a whole brand new game that they rolling out? 
looks like a new game. It looks right? like a new game. It says Circuit Racers. Wow. Yeah. Oh, right. So it's a whole brand new game. A brand yeah. new game. I really just hope that Nintendo. Oh, fine. Starts, right there. Sorry. Imagine Nintendo starts opening like physical places with crazy maps and crazy like you know that you can go with your character, and now you have like this giant place that wouldn't be at your house that has jumps and like all this crazy Tournament, stuff. Tournaments. Tournaments would be dope for this. See, yeah. I was only thinking here playing the video game. Seeing this trailer, if you look back, they're watching the TV mm -hmm. as they're doing that. And so, like, even that experience is something completely different because your angle of what you're watching is from right. the camera on the cart. But yeah. you're watching it up there. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you don't so have to cool. look at the, at the car driving. You're just really, like, regularly playing Mario. That's dope. The funny part about it, though, is essentially you're just playing Mario Kart how we are anyways, but there's just something moving around in your room. Like, you're not really looking at the toy itself. You have to look at the camera that it's using, which yeah. is pretty much playing Mario Kart. But it is kind of a cool It's a cool idea. I mean, but it, it, it's, it's unlimited tracks now. You know, instead of playing at, like, uh, uh, what it is, Wario Stadium, you're now at your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, yeah, like a, that's true. And depending on the range, you could set it up somewhere else, like outside, yeah. and maybe go inside and play. Yeah, that. like yeah. imagine going throughout the entire house. Like you got to go through the kitchen, and then, like we said, people that are real creative about it. Like it's a now endless possibility. Even the garage, like going through the garage, going through whatever setup you have there, and like you said, depending on Wi-Fi, uh, if you have a good enough router, like backyard yeah. stuff. Yeah, if you got a whole, if you got a whole house Wi-Fi, I mean, it look, it can happen. I'm just saying, it it possibly can happen. It it really can turn into everything. But imagine we're playing, and then someone jumps your fence and steals your shit while you, <laughs> and now you're just watching the whole stealing happening all the way. Now, here, here's the funniest thing: no one is probably gonna say or show. Pets, cats are gonna fuck these up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great point. Yeah, like that's gonna be a whole new thing. Like cats just beating up Mario Karts. It's gonna be a whole new thing on the internet. I yeah. bet you just like footage of just this gone wrong, which is I, yeah. I mean, what's the difference between that and an actual like actual track when you get hit by a goddamn like you run into a cow, you get hit by random things. It's, what's the difference? It restarts you. <laughs> when that cat <laughs> knocks it over, you gotta get up from your seat and go put that thing back on the track right. yourself. Yeah. You're a Ludwig this side. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. the one. Yeah, you better pick up All right, let me go back to the couch and get back at it. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, that is um, that's a good segue into the the next thing that they rolled out, which was probably the craziest, one of the craziest drops this year. Uh, Nintendo is dropping Super Mario 3D All Stars, which is a remastered version of Super Mario 64. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy all on the Switch. These are two out of three of my top ten games of all time. Heavy and hitters. Uh, heavy hitters that I like I said before, I would have paid for each of these individually. They're giving it to us in a bundle. Bundle! bundle. <laughs> this is crazy. Like I we were we were talking about it before, but what what are you guys playing first? Galaxy. I like as much as you and Kadeem have sold it, I cannot wait to just get this remastered version and play it on a big screen with all the lights out fully submerged. Oh. Hey, I'm late to the party with this one, man. Uh you know, Super Mario sixty four, I, I played it a few times. I put that remote controller down and never went back to it. I never played Sunshine, I never played Galaxy. But I've seen Kadeem play Galaxy and he bro, he was like addicted. Like, he wanted to get all the stars. Like, I'm seeing him on the couch wiggling the Wii remote, getting everything. I'm like, Yo, what are you doing? So it was such a different experience to see him play a video game like that. So I'm in here for this, man. I, I hope I'm able to, like, get that feel that both Pat and Will and Kadeem share from playing these video games. Because I am openly the one amongst the, or the tokens who this kind of just went over my head. I couldn't get into it. And if you don't like it, you keep it to yourself, Cleo. No. Okay. We've seen your bashing of GTA. You keep this one to yourself. I you would bash he Mario. Bash this, though. He can't bash it. This is almost impossible. Oh, wow. Yeah, like GTA is away with bashing. You can't get <laughs> Mario's been around for way too long. Okay, and uh, get up. All right. We'll All right. Play that. I, I feel like it, it, you got to start with 64, though, because Galaxy is so dope, it's hard to go backwards. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like mm -hmm. the way that it, that it is. 
it might seem a little bit weird to go backwards. So Super Mario no. 64 is so solid. And then Sunshine just, it's, I love Sunshine, but it just happened too early because the gameplay was very different. It's, it, that was the only, that was the next Mario, big Mario yeah. game after 64, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It went from 64, yeah. of course, on the 64, and then GameCube got Sunshine, and then the Wii got Galaxy. Yeah, so. so that was the so that's why like 3D wise that was the next big one. But like for me, 64 is classic. So even if I start with Galaxy, I'll still play 64 just because I know what's in there. Like right. being able to get to the top of the castle and get the 100 lives from Yoshi. Like mm -hmm. going knock the penguin off, doing the penguin race. Like even playing Galaxy, I, I I think that's the biggest thing about Mario. No matter what he comes out with it doesn't take away from the older versions. Like when we got the uh, Super Nintendo pack and the regular Nintendo pack on the Switch, I immediately went to Mario 3 and just started playing. And I was like, wow, it, it's just like riding a bike. Same thing with Super Mario World. So, I, you know, Mario don't miss, as you've said. Mm -hmm. My question for Super Mario 64, is that going to be the version that was uh, originally on the Nintendo 64 or is it gonna be the version that came out for, was it the DS? I wish I wish it was the DS one because the DS one had you can play with Yoshi, you can play with right. Mario, you can play with, with Luigi, and you can play with Mario on the on the DS one. I heard a lot of people didn't like that. I heard a lot of people did not like. Listen, that. it's good. I'm telling you, I I played both. I really like the idea of having that many different characters to play with. Come on now, Pat. You can't be bashing Mario, bro. Come on now. Come on. No, no. That's a that's a ultimate like that's the coolest thing about Mario. Every game that deviated from the character himself. Mm -hmm. was not as good like i said odyssey was dope but it was it's my least favorite because you were turning into all these other things but mario 64 i don't know if i'd want to play it as wario or yoshi or something just because of, like all my memories to it was attached you were mario thugging it out going through every paint it wasn't a group thing mario has so many group things <laughs> i get it i like him having some solo songs too you know some album cuts Oh yeah, speaking of songs, um, with this package, they will allow you to be able to listen to all of the tracks from each of each three of these series on your own, by yourself. So it's pretty much like you have your the full layout of music to listen to by yourself, enjoy it while you're working, doing whatever you do. Pat, when you're doing, I don't know what you be doing, like the mate slaying maiden, slay it to a galaxy song. Slick liver, when you air frying, air frying to some super 64 music. Wild to smash yeah. it. I highly suggest anybody watching this. Drops, put on some Delfino music. I'm about to say, put on that Delfino. Why do y'all go? What is Delfino? What is it? Delfino Bay is where, is where Sunshine pl takes place at. Yeah, so you pull up to an island that's attacked by Mario is basically set up. So there's this, there's this, this like footage of him attacking the town with this paintbrush. It's like this dark Mario, and mm. it's uh, but he's like he's like made of like paint, and he's like leaving all this like ooze that's like growing monsters out of it. So you pull up and you have this new thing, and and you use it to not only fight the monsters but to like clean the town up. Yeah, and it's yeah. like Delfino Isle is the place, and that's like where all those. It's a smash. It's a Smash Bros. Um, level, level too. Yeah, I'm about to say, I mean, if you've seen uh, Bowser Jr.'s um, uh, Final Smash, you've seen that, that you've seen that Mario. Because he literally uses that Mario. The one, the, 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 the Oh, Mario that's, that's right. Yeah, that's literally his Final Smash. Because, I mean, kind of spoiler alert, but it's Bowser Jr. running that shit. Hey, man, he didn't play it yet. Oh, uh, thanks, dude. But Kadeen hey, knows me. He exactly. knows. I know him. Yeah, he, just he didn't give a damn anyway. <laughs> I did, though. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you didn't make it through? I had never touched the game, and I was going to play it. Damn you, damn you, damn you. If you played Smash, you would have known. Kadeem, Kadeem is a no. underscore hater. You know I know that? Not only did he ruin this, I still haven't gotten that split screen of GTA. What happened to that split screen, Kadeem? Uh, did you delete it? No, no, did you get rid here. of it? It's here. It's just, uh -huh. it Everything it else made it, but that one I see. It forgot to, go, it forgot to get uploaded. That's, you know, uh -huh. Them the Look at y'all. Look at your Thomas brothers stick together. Well, oh. uh, to be fair, Bowser's behind every Mario game. <laughs> <laughs> One way or the other. It's One. like it's we know a... from the beginning. He steals them in front of us. It's never like a mystery who done it. This is exactly. true. That's but um, yep, this is actually coming this month, which makes me believe that they have a huge Mario game coming up. 
uh, for them to give us all three of these together and the soundtracks in three weeks. Uh, so, yep, that's going to take over my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cleo, didn't you have a theory just before we move on to the next one about what the next one may be? I said Odyssey 2. I, I think that they would roll that out. Um, there, I saw an article mentioning the fact that, oh, that's, that's what Bowser Jr. looks like. Got it. I saw an article mentioning that Nintendo, like, someone felt Nintendo was burying Super Mario Galaxy 2 because they didn't include it with the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah. Uh, Will, I'm excuse me, Kadeem and Pat, how do you guys both feel about that considering you, I'm assuming, played both, right? Yeah, I think it would have just been weird to have 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1, and 2. Okay. Like, I think that Galaxy 1 was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, if Galaxy 2 is, is dope too, they might remaster that by itself, but I just didn't think it was necessary. It wasn't that different. Got it. So I would say Galaxy 2, I mean, if you, if on on the other side of it, if you actually looked at the name of the, I've obviously done this. Look at the name of the disc. It's actually called Galaxy Plus. Like they literally, it's it's literally built off the same exact thing. They just threw Yoshi in it. Like Yoshi is actually in Galaxy Two. That's pretty much all they really did. Oh. But after you play Galaxy Two, you're like, oh, I also enjoyed this very much. It wasn't, right. yo, this was crazy better yeah. than the first one. You know what I mean? No. It was this was this was dope. Yeah. And another thing, too, just holding it back, remember, too, Mario All-Stars had two versions, like the first All-Star version and the second one, it had a lot more games. So they may be just prepping up for the next 3D one, too. Like They might even include Odyssey, maybe even include the Super Mario from the DS and stuff. So, you know, they may be just trying to see how this worked. Throw a few Mario parties in there, revamp yeah. Mario Golf or something. Yeah. Um, I predict a, a Sunshine, too. I think that Nintendo knows it, this is a clear move that they know that you know they can capitalize off of their games that are slept on, and I I feel like they could mess around and do another Sunshine and and people would go crazy because you know, they didn't people don't talk about Sunshine as much. I feel like Nintendo still knows what they got. This Sunshine thing, it's just, or I'm gonna just play it once it come out. I'll play it. I'll figure yeah. it out because Luigi with the vacuum. Mario with a with a super soaker. I'm just like, what is going on? It's different. It's different. You ain't trying to super soak them shrooms. Come on, bro. Wow. The use of the water and a in a in an island that's like a Hawaiian or tropical island is just dope. Yeah. I I don't forget the 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 beginning scene where Mario shows up and his damn uh things are rolled up like his actual actual sleeves. You can actually see in the picture. Oh, yeah, look. yeah, I'm looking at it. He got, yeah. His shirts are rolled up. Like, he's really on vacation right now. Like, he was really on vacation. <laughs> yeah, the game starts. Didn't they, didn't they land in, like, a private plane? Yeah, like, he was on vacation when he showed up on this damn island. They and all rich. of a sudden, he gets blamed. That's they when the game starts. So. All right, so that's pretty much, you know, the intro of the, the Nintendo episode. It's 35 years of Mario. So this episode is basically broken down into little levels, just like Mario. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we got a boss level uh, at the end. So, first one, level one. What is the best Mario Kart? Ooh. We got the Super Nintendo that people swear by. Obviously, 64 is a huge one. People love Double Dash and say that that's the best one. And then we got the newest one. I don't know if it's 8 or Infinite, but uh, the one on the um, Switch. I'm yeah. going with the newest one, man. I think it's just... Um, you got you got to pay homage to all the ones before it, but I think this one was just you got it right. Remastering all of the levels, all the people we have, the different options, man. The just it's a great time, and then it's just like again, anyone who isn't even a gamer, that's a great introduction into video games is playing this new Mario Kart. Yeah, the fact that they added, you know, so many new characters across the Nintendo roster, the fact that, you know, you have different, uh, motor, you have motorcycles, you got a Mercedes Benz in the game, like, it's crazy. Uh, I like the fact they open, opened it up to that, and, like, the different carts have different stats, like, some are for sure faster. Like, you don't have to guess anymore, like, you know, you get this car with these wheels and that parachute, you're taking off. Um, but best out of the Mario Kart's... I kind of, I kind of want to just say the '64 one, bro. It's so fun still to this day. I love the '64 one. I'm yeah. going '64 mainly because, although I agree with all that stuff that you said about the newest one, there's an element of it that is too much. With bikes, you, you have Lamborghinis, you know what I mean? And and at, at some point, it's like it's not really cart 
<laughs> you know, like it's just like a Mario racing type racing, of thing. Racing, yeah. So I think for what it was and for the age I was at the time, this game was perfect. There was no fat on it. And even though it didn't have as many levels as the newest one, it, it felt like it had a lot of options. You know, like what was it? Right. Six cups? Was it six cups? Uh, oh, yeah. I believe yeah. it was six cups. I think it was Mushroom Star. Um, nah, if that wasn't it, like maybe. Flower. Flower for sure. Um, uh, the leaf. Leaf wasn't until later, right? That's what I remember. I don't think I don't I don't think it was six. I think it may have been four cups. Special cup, mushroom cup. Yeah, right. I think it might have been fire four. cup. I think it might have been four. I think mushroom and flower, star, right? star special. And it's like four each. So what is that? Sixteen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that seemed like a lot. It was a lot because like if you play if you play the cup, that was enough for you. Like especially with the homies there, that's four people playing. So right. you play the cup, whoever wins stay on the sticks, and then that's enough people to be able to pass. So you have a group of people playing. Mm-hmm. It's a Game Boy Advance one. Never played that one actually. It's okay. Here's the we double dash. It. Here is the double dash that everyone talks about. Looks good, actually. <laughs> it, I mean, it's on the GameCube, so it, it has great graphics. Luigi on the back. <laughs> Luigi's little moves are killing me, bro. What that leg. Right? One leg. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want? see them hold the banana like a glizzy. You never really see them hold the banana, like any of the the stuff but the shell, but yeah. it's back there waiting to throw it. Oh, boy, just happy. looking like Mad Max out here. Like, he, like, they out here really about to get it in. I might order this low key. <laughs> <laughs> Mario playing the baby right now while you're on there. This is crazy. Um, yeah. what, what you going with, Kadeem? Um, honestly, I actually played a lot more of Mario Kart on, on like on the on the portable one. So I played, I played yeah. DS a lot. I played the DS one a lot. So I mean, that's probably gonna be the one I put a lot of more time into. Um, growing up. Shocker, it's a sleeper. Yeah, I mean, I think it's this one. Oh, this God. This is the one you played? This, hey, bro. Oh, it's, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. Looking back at the graphics, it's terrible. This what? looks like a mod on Minecraft. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my, my second one is probably gonna be Super Nintendo. Just because I played that with... Uh, Over 64? Working... Yeah, just but just just memory-wise. That's why. Because I used to play that with my older brother all the time and stuff when I went over to his house. And just like... It 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 was classic to just see like grown men play this game, yeah. on like Super Nintendo. They just like, nah, fam. It's nothing. It's nothing crazier than seeing like a dude that spent fifteen years in jail get mad over getting socked out by Mario on on this game, or fighting over Toad or Peach. Yeah, like, I'm supposed to be Peach. <laughs> like, man, don't leave me with. Nah, I ain't gonna say what he'll say, but he's like, hey, yo, don't leave me with that motherfucker, man. You I won't stop you. As any of those games as you are as, as the newest games? Like, is that the best you've ever been at Mario Kart? N what, currently? No, like the newest game. Like, were you good as good at any of the older games as the newest? Oh, game? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario Kart was uh, easy to learn and stuff, especially if you knew the tricks and the little things. That's, that's why in 64, 64 kind of went down for me because we learned all the, like, secret loops and stuff like that. That's how much we did kind of play it. So it was just like... That was also our first run in with like ending friendships was Mario 64. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know which one I'm better at. Cleo, do you know which one you're better at? Probably the newer one, bro. Probably the newest one. So with yeah. 64, it's so evenly matched. Like it's, but that's what makes it genuinely a good time and fun. Right. With, uh, with Mario 8 or Infinite, however you want to um, you know, call it, it's, the it's yeah, the loadout thing. You can literally get out there and just. Dust everybody on some Fast and Furious level tough. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, never, I never took the loadout seriously, so maybe I should. Yeah, uh, same thing with me. I was just like, I'm Link. I like he has the bike. That's it. You cannot <laughs> do that. <laughs> I think this is All the th right. 3DS one right here, and then of course this is this is where we're at. It's just it's so look at it, man. It's just it's so clean. Yeah, it's so clean. There's so much going on in the background too. It's just like everything you wanted Mario Kart to be, this gave it to you. Yep. Remember the background of like stuff like Wario Stadium? It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like actual stuff, like stadium level. This is crazy. Yeah, and, I, and that's just what I love about it. Like taking like Bowser's uh, level and to go from what it was on Super Nintendo to what it is now, like going through Bowser's castle, going through these twists and turns. It's just like, 
that's why I just like for me, this is the best one. It just takes all the nostalgia, what we love about the previous ones, and just gave it to us. Yep, wrap it all together. Oh, yep, I think so. All right, so uh, that was the level one best Mario Kart coming up. Level two, we got <laughs> Mario Power Up. Oh, uh, this this is he has a lot. He has. His, I wonder like what his arsenal looks like if he has like one of those things at home, you know those things that all scientists have. The wall open that has all their weapons. And like a flower. How, how many shrooms would be there? <laughs> it's gotta be the whole like wall. Like a black table. closet. Right. <laughs> you could just load it up in the racks. Yeah, oh, it's a whole wall. Like, hmm. Uh, fire. Let's go. Mm-hmm. So flood uh, is yeah. counted as a a, a power up. No. Yeah. Negative. Move on. You don't think oh. so? I don't think that's the best one. Like, I don't oh, even no. Know. It's a power up, though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. But I wouldn't even put this in like top five. Nah. Like, it's, it was cool for Delfino. For, yeah, for the game. <laughs> All right. What else we got? No. This was dumb. Green mushroom. That was what, Mario 3D? That was Mario 3D World. Mario I didn't like that. Yeah, it's okay. That wasn't that great. The boo mushroom, though. Slow. Ooh. That's very. Odyssey? That's Galaxy, right? Galaxy. That was Galaxy. Oh, so this one they got like transforming and stuff from is from Galaxy. Yeah, essentially, they might have started there. Okay. Flower Flower. Mm. Huh. I've never played I wish that. that was tight. These yeah, are all very it. new ones that kind of served one purpose for one level. Bee Mushroom nope. was dope. Bee nah. Mushroom was decent. It was decent. Um, on that one. Don't like how he yeah. looks. Yeah. It's Rock? just because how he was looking back. Rock Mushroom was dope. Was this 3D or Galaxy? Uh, I think it says two. Mario Galaxy 2. Galaxy. Rapper from Pokemon. Exactly. It does right. that, bro. Absolutely. Uh, let's go with the red star, though. I like the I like the alternate colorway Mario. I look like Russia Mario. What the hell? Yeah, that's actually what's it called. <laughs> it's that's, red uh, star, bro. Right, red scare. This is for mother country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is uh, Mario Galaxy. Uh, it's a Mario Galaxy uh, star right there. All yeah. right, we're going to get into the next one we all should know. The good old Vanish Cap from the 64. This was a secret, wasn't it? Um, I think from some areas you had to get it in order to get through certain areas, like like where there was like cages that you had to walk through. You put on I didn't like this one because you got yeah. stuck. Like it, it was time too, so it, it didn't time stay time. on you, yep. and you'd get stuck. Like it wouldn't like if you like how you see like his hand not showing. If it went off, you're stuck. Yep. He I did not like that. Yeah, he turned and can pass through fences and certain walls. Yep. What did it look like? Um, it, it pretty much, I think you just hit it and you just put on a hat and you just pretty much went transparent. It was nothing, nothing too crazy about it. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't show, it didn't give you anything to alert you that it was that. You kind of just knew. Ooh. Right. Metal cap. The I metal remember. cap. We all remember the good old metal cap. So heavy Mario. Yeah. It's oh yeah. So remember fighting him in Super Smash Brothers? Was a pain. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. couldn't move. Right. You <laughs> have to put like 400 damage to get his ass out of there. God. I love Metal Mario. That's dope. Wing Cap is Wait, a great. Remember one. this one? That's sixty four. This yes. is sixty four. His flight was so amazing. Like just, just the arms out. It just kind of reminds you of just some Goku stuff. Just right. It, this was great. And the the music, the music that when yeah. you put it on. That's what. That's what set it off. That's what really set it off. Mm-hmm. So wait, was the Vanish Cap the third of the three in sixty four? It was Wing, Metal, and Vanish. Yes, I think it was those okay. three. I think it was those three for that. Uh, regular super mushroom. Classic. 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 That's classic. It there. Yeah. Superstar. Another too classic. short. <laughs> it's too short. Yeah, that was the thing. It, it, it was cool, but it just didn't utilize as much as I wanted it to. Invincibility for two seconds. That's just the hit of math. Crack it. All right, who else we got? Mini mushroom from uh, the new Super Mario Bros. It's a pass. Uh, made you small. Made you small. Well, yeah. right so far. Mega it? Mushroom. Cool. Overhyped. Overhyped. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't hit like they thought it was going to. Double Cherry. I kind of remember this one. This is the Na- Naruto. <laughs> yeah, this is the damn Shadow Clone Jutsu swag. I like the old version when he did, like on the regular Super Mario's when the multiple ones came out. That was dope. Yep. This was uh, weird to control, though. It was. The blue shell. Never seen these. What is yeah, this? Bigger than Bowser. 
Yeah, this is on, this is on the. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the new Super Mario Bros. This is one for the DS. You know, I'm fighting for custody. <laughs> Super <laughs> Acorn. Oh, is it the flying squirrel suit? I think this is the flying squirrel suit. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I don't remember too much about it, though. The flower. All right, that's classic. That's, 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 that's how classic that is. That's the fire right. flower. The fire flower is, is life. There you go. Okay. Boomerang this flower? This was hard, though. This was the one. Uh, this was like the hammer guy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, also, he gets to do it. Yep. But with uh, the boomerangs. Boomerang. I think he has a hammer suit, too, actually. Yeah. Frog suit. I did like the frog suit. I just didn't get to use it that much. Yeah. I didn't like the suit. It was weird seeing them big eyes right here and stuff like yeah. that. And just, I was like, yo, just make him a frog. Why is the like, eyes out? Coming out of the mouth. Ah, the carrot in Mar Super, Super, Land? Mario. Super Mario Land. Yes, this is Super yep. Mario Land. It literally lets you, like, it, if you kept pre pressing jump, he would fly a little bit further. Like the it's, wings would actually just start picking up a little bit. But they were yeah. ears, right? They were just they were ears. ears. Yeah, and it went nowhere. Barely went anywhere with them ears. Yeah. I like the ears. Ears pretty cool. The ice flower, man. This is a good one. I don't know this about this. This is a good one. Obviously, same, same thing as fireball, but instead you're freezing people. Yeah. Pretty okay. straightforward. Pretty straightforward on that one. Penguin suit. Penguin suit. Yeah. That was for Wii U, right? Yes. Or this I, like the I think this is for the regular week, but either way, my boy Icy Penguino out here. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> right, shout out Icy Penguino. Icy Penguino. Propeller. This is cool for this game. Yes. Propeller mushroom. It spins, right? Yeah, it spins up in the air. Yeah. I don't know. None of these. Yeah. Right. A lot of these were like specifically in the Wii U version. The Cape. Cape. Cape is hard. Cape is top five for sure. Boom. Yep. Take everything. Cape Brothers up there. Super Bell. Uh oh. Cat suit. Cat suit. Tanuki. What? Yeah. No, that's not Tanuki. That's, that's the not cat. Tanuki. Is that Tanuki? Mm -hmm. No. Tanuki is right. basically a raccoon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fire well, that, flap. I thought that we did. That's yeah. it. That's the that's the one that threw the multiple ones. What was the other one? Wait, yeah, wait. Let's go, yeah, let me, let's go back up to the other one. Let's check that one real quick. Just to make sure what's the, what's the difference. Eric. Frog. Flower. For those that's watching the audio version, we're scrolling back up to the original flower. This isn't the fire flower. This item is called flower. It's only in Super Mario Land. When originally played the game, it was thought to be the fire, uh, fire flower with some altered physics. Remember, shooting causes the ball to bounce rapidly, and the balls are more and the balls are more solid. Well, it turns out the flower has a more common with luffy gum gum fruit from One Piece. Luffy. <laughs> Oh, Luke, I'm sorry. It isn't bouncing fireballs. It's just bouncing balls. Oh, Luffy. that thing above the turtle is the attack. Yes. Got it. Hmm. So you're, Remember that. You're, you're tossing balls, basically. Got it. Nope. Yep, fire flower still is the best. We'll Let's stick go to the fire top. flower. Let's we'll stick to the fire flower. Yeah, so I got cape and fire in my top five. That That's me right there. The hammer suit. There it is. That boy out here. Straight hammer bros now. Not a fan, because I always miss. There it is. Nobody. That's Tanuki. Tanuki. There it is. <laughs> so what was different between that and the cape? Uh, Tanukis could fly all the way up. Uh, the cape didn't let it glided. It didn't let you stay all the way up. So it did. you had to get up, and then you could fly back down. It didn't keep you up. Wait, go down a little bit? Huh? Go down a little bit? Can you scroll oh. down? Just a little bit? No, to the, the text? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. We were wrong. We were wrong. There's one more. We'll Again. See. Uh, You'll see. You, are you reading that real quick, Brad? Or you want me to keep going down? Reading it, yeah. Okay. Raccoon is my favorite animal. Okay. <laughs> all right, go. Uh, all right, you can keep going. Here it is. So, exactly. I'm so confused. So confused. Well, I mean, technically, he got a whole suit on in this one. The other one is not. Yeah, so if you look at this one, yeah. So that's not a, that's not a raccoon. What is that's that called? Come up. It's called Super Leaf? That's called a Super Leaf. Yeah, because huh. that is what popped up when he got it. Was Because uh, if you'd hit a shell on there, the leaf would pop up. Yep. There you go. 
That's the one we were speaking so of. What does it do? Not only flying powers temporarily turn into a stone statue to evade enemy attacks. Funny. Uh, not a raccoon exactly. It's more like a Japanese hybrid dog looking creature. At the same time, it looks like a raccoon. <laughs> there you go. Guess I did not know there was a difference. Okay. So the Tanuki is not the Super the Leaf. leaf. Super leaf. There's also a different power than the cape. <laughs> All right. So if we were going to break this level up into best power up and best suit, Love what it. actually is the better power for itself? And then what suit did we see that's your favorite? I, I got to go with the fire, man. Always and forever, bro. The multiple. Suit or power? Huh? Suit for or my power. power. For my power, yeah. Got to be the Got to be the fire. Power up. I don't know, man. It seemed like the Super Leaf was the most solid. I mean, any Mario game where you can fly and your whole thing, it's a whole platformer where you just jump into the pits. <laughs> I feel like for what it was, you could skip a whole level if you wanted to. True. I'm going to yeah. go with the Super Leaf. Super Leaf. Who you guys going with? I think I got to lean more toward the, uh, the Flame Flower, man. Got to like I look at Smash Bros and like thinking like yo his final Smash is a whole bunch of fireballs and he don't even change colors, so that's such a big part of Mario's overall attack even without it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going I'm going with the Flame Flower man. That's definitely the coolest one. We never talk about the physics behind that. Like he literally can produce fireballs with his hand. <laughs> and like I said, we thought it was the flower, but the now power. it's like no flower. But he's just out here producing heat with his hands. Yep. mine would be Kate. Flying cape. Can't go wrong with my cape, man. I've, I've used it. It saved me so many times in Mario World over the years. I always like how he ran before he took off. It was just yeah, like... Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, hands out. Let's do it. Yep. That so. hands out. All right, what about the look, though? Forget the power. Which Mario costume is the swaggiest? Swaggiest costume of this Mario. I'm going See, with my doctor. This, this is going to be kind of... This is going to be kind of limited for me and Cleo because we didn't play all of these, so we can only go off with, like, the few that we know. Y'all are pretty much going to be able to take this home with us because y'all play Galaxy and everything. So what I was... The pictures? Huh? Or the, the pictures? pictures? Yeah. Yeah, there are those pictures. Like I said, you, you can scroll back up. Like, hammer yeah, you can. I didn't like the hammer. No. 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 You like the parallel head? Okay. No. Ice no. Pinguino? No. Sure. no. Okay. Ice flower. Mm -mm. I'm going with cat suit. Cat suit. Kitty Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. It's hilarious. I'm straight off that. Scratch straight off still. Super acorn. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Big old. I I, I, didn't, I didn't know why y'all wait. I, I I already know what y'all gonna choose. I think right. like Tanuki is the best one. Yeah. You're not going to go for this one, though? Oh, yeah, never mind. You're not going to swag me out? Alternate ego Mario? That. Mother, Ru Mother Russia Mario. I like the alternate colorway Mario, bro. That's dope. I like, I like MRM. I like that one. I mean, but still, too, like, I like the flower, the classic flower suit, too, because even the white and red was fire. Mm -hmm. And then y'all showing it, like, on the uh, updated version. I'm like, yo, that was a pretty fly suit. White overalls? <laughs> Black cap and black overall Mario. That's probably the best one. I need more. I need him in that colorway more often. Right. That's I hilarious. like that. Yeah. I'm surprised it's this not one look like he get Peach. This one look like he be breaking Peach off. It like listen, Pe Peach ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah. You understand me? Hilarious. <laughs> he grabs her arm before Bowser takes her. Nah. Not. Right. Nah. <laughs> 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 this is he dealing with actual problems. Like, no, nah, trust me, this ain't about Peach. This is actually about the kingdom. It's yeah, 99 problems. problems. You got a strap under that hat? <laughs> I got 99 <laughs> problems. Locked up. Going. Peach ain't going. Yeah. This is 99 problem Mario right here. He ain't playing that no more. I love it. You know All right, next level. Let's move on to the next level. We passed the little finish line thing. Now we got best Mario side character. All right, so this is anybody on Mario's team. So this doesn't include Wario, Bowser, all that stuff. These are people in the Mushroom Kingdom or extended. Rosalina counts. Um, but yes, anybody who was rocking with uh, Mario 
in Mario Party, Mario Kart, all that stuff. That's... Oh, just, okay, okay. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to go with Toad, bro. Like, interesting. Toad ain't Toad been there. Toad be knowing what's up. Like, to, every time Mario needs some information, who he getting it from? Toad. Is that? Yeah, Toad be out there in them streets. Toad know what's going on. There's a whole bunch of them because anytime you play Mario Kart, who's in the crowd? Toads. Toads, to toads. And black shy guys. Oh, we got the the cast right here. Yeah, man. So I, I like for me, I gotta go with Toad, bro. Like that, I feel like that's 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 the that's the Mexicans of Mario, like that the, the, to me. And they probably that mean Toad probably make the best food. That's what everybody eating up in the Mushroom Kingdom, Toad stew, tacos, and stuff like that. And everybody else just kind of I don't know, man. Like, man. Eh. I just realized Toad dresses like Aladdin from the first half of the movie. Hilarious. He sure does. That vest just killed me. I'm like, wait, why does he have Aladdin's vest on? That just had, put that together. That had to be the inspiration. That's funny. Uh, That's the only one I feel like don't need Mario after like the game cut off, if that makes sense. Like all of them, like yeah. the, the big blocks, they got to be there in Bowser's castle to work. Like what else are they going to do? Toad looked like he could go, I'm good. I'm going to go do this real quick and be straight. I mean, he was Captain Toad, the treasure, treasure tracker. Like, he got his own name. Like, he big time with it. Uh, uh, now, this is a question. I, Given their history, are we counting Donkey Kong? Or is he considered separate? Technically, didn't uh, Donkey Kong right there. make Superman? I mean, Superman, wow. Uh, he's Mario? Yeah. yeah, he's right there. But I mean that in that context he'd be considered a villain, which we do have uh, in a, in a couple levels. But he he I mean after the first few games it seemed like they were cool. I've never seen a game where they were together besides Mario Kart after they were fighting. But Smash, Smash, and there were, there were at least they were where they weren't fighting though. Uh, like, they were no, I'm fighting. saying like after Mario Kart, I don't think there was anything where they were like on the same team. Yeah, yeah, not much. He let them have a few album drops on the label, and then that was it. But like, all right, bro, fall back. Don't think I forgot what you did. Throwing them barrels. Mm -hmm. at me, so let's disclude Donkey Kong and just keep it to the Mushroom Kingdom. So Will's going with Toad, Cleo. What you got? Going Luigi, man. I'm going okay. Luigi. He, he's one of those guys. He just he knows his position. Hey, man, this is his whole run. I'm good. People still know me. I get to have my own little series every now and then. I'm good, man. He's like, he, Luigi kind of guy, he don't understand why everyone else is mad for him. You know what I'm talking about? Like, social media-wise, people get, be getting mad for somebody. It's like, I didn't even say, That's I don't weird. give a, I don't That's give a shit about man. this. That's I'm good. I, bro, I got my own castle across the way. That nigga name is Luigi Mario, bro. He is the Memphis Bleak of New No, Street. that was actually com uh, that was confirmed that that's not th their last name. What are their last names? There's, there's no last name. They're just Oh, Mario. it's just Mario and Luigi. Yeah, the Mario Mario thing was disproved by the creator. That hey, actually, hey. that boosts his, uh, his stock back Mario up. Mario Jumpman, though? No, 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 no last names. It's just Mario and Luigi. Okay, okay cool. People yeah. got confused when it was the Mario Bros. Yeah. Makes sense. Luigi's so are, are they really bros, dude? Or yeah, is it just kind of... <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, they got the baby bros right there. They're babies right there. Hey. They grew that, up okay, together. so is that them as babies or is that yeah. their kids? No, that's that's them as babies. They're, if you played, uh, there's a game for the DS or the 3DS. Yeah, because there's, there's baby Peach and baby uh, Daisy over there. And yeah. then there's baby Bowser, too. Yep. Like, there's actually baby baby versions of all of them. Hey, baby, well, Luigi. The timeline is weird because King Bowser isn't Bowser. It's like there's the separate. It's it's it's. That's weird. what threw me off. There was like supposed to be like King Bowser, then there's Bowser, then there's Bowser Junior, then there's Bowser something, and then that Bowser. Goes, huh? Bowser. Bowser, and then Ludwig, and then those those lines. But it's like I never know which which one Mario is fighting. I didn't get it. Wasn't there one like Yoshi's Island or something where th that was the first appearance of Baby Mario? Mm-hmm. It, mm -hmm. it was. It was technically Super Mario World Two, is what they call it. It's, it's Super Mario World Two. It was a sequel. And that's Mario as a baby. That's not yes, Mario. Yes, that's Baby Mario. Got it. Okay. But then what's that N sixty four game with Yoshi that we rented from Blockbuster? Like Yoshi Story. Yoshi oh Story. I still God. have it. Two in a row. We rented that goddamn game. It would never be. 
Listen, that that soundtrack that fire. fire. So does that mean that Baby Mario was raised by Yoshi? Potentially, yes. I think. Well, he. I know Yoshi had the had the task of bringing him to the Mushroom Kingdom or something like that. Like I think oh, the game wow. starts. The stork. Fought, the stork drops Mario. I guess accidentally into Yoshi's uh like Yoshi's little uh forest. He got and then Yoshi's whole thing toward the game is to get him all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's how that game starts. Well, that's actually my favorite side character is Yoshi. Yoshi hey. and Mario's back from Solid. the. Not only can he fight, he got hands. When he, when we, when we saw him in Smash Bros. and really saw him fight, we were just like, oh dang, he's really raised with Mario. But even before that, he was used kind of like a vehicle. Not not. But at the same time, we we were saving them. The Yoshi's eggs. I liked his side games. You know, even down to the recent ones with the uh, the yarn. Mm. Um, but I don't know. Yoshi's always been solid, and he they gave him a spot in Mario Kart, which is dope. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he, he was there. He was in the '64. Oh, he's been in all of them, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Good day. What about you? Who's your favorite? Favorite side character would have to be. I'm looking through this list right now. Um, I'd have to go with Shy Guy. I have to go with the Shy Guys. I mean, I don't want to go that as villains. I, I don't think he's really a villain. He's more of a side character. Um, is he an enemy, though? He's an enemy, so I don't oh, know if that counts. Do best Mario enemy, too. Okay, so let me go ahead and separate that, then. I'll probably... Is, is, hold on. Is he really an enemy, though? Because... In, I, was, I will say this. In, in Yoshi's story, or in Yoshi's, or Yoshi's Island, the one with baby Mario, yeah, Shy Guys are snatching his ass up. That's literally the villains. The whole okay. game is, is Shy Guy trying to steal Mar- Baby Mario. The whole game. But they so. are helpful sometimes, I think. Sometimes, I think there are sometimes that they have, like, a hint or something like that. But for the most yeah. part, you're trying to off them. Yep. Um, oof. I would actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just go with Wario. I'm going to go okay. with Wario. That's a yeah. villain, though. It, but is he now? Because yeah, I think, I, think it's a don- I think it's a Donkey Kong situation. No, nah, because he, he, he still wants to take Mario's position. All right. So well, he's still the villain. When did they uh, join forces? Uh, that DS game that we don't want to talk about. 64 DS, the one you don't want to talk about. So they never joined forces. <laughs> That's a costume change. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I promise you. All of them are in the game pad. That's a side quest. All right. I'm actually running out of ideas with this one. I don't know who I got left. There's much left on this list. There's not too many, like, stand out like that ain't villains. I, actually, I mean, I can go with Yoshi again. I'll probably follow you on Yoshi. Yoshi? Pat. Side character for sure. for sure. He's most solid they got. Been around. All right. Well, that's a good segue to the next level, which is best enemy, not villain, but just those little things that you kill throughout the levels. What's <laughs> your favorite one? Best design, best powers, all that. Man, I gotta go with the ghost, bro. Like the Ooh. ghost. The ghost would probably just like for one that was like the flyest ghost I had seen outside of Casper. Mm. Uh, most of the time it's just sheets and stuff like that, man. Like the booze, bro. Like King Boo, man. Like just they, they whole set up, man. It was challenging. It was challenging to get through there. Like y'all saw when we were watching the uh, Tokens speed run of Super Mario World, and that dude did that dang Damian Lillard move on the snake on the uh, ghost, and how shocked I was when he did it. Uh, yeah. They, they dope. Are. They design is dope. Like I like if. Um, if if I wanted to, I would like I would get a tattoo if I was just on my nerd stuff of the ghosts. Especially shout, the young and black Shout one. out to Pink Dolphin for embracing Boo the way they did. That clothing brand, like yeah. every, they made it a big part of like their overall rollout where right. that were, I, I believe that was one of the original logos. It wasn't even a pink dolphin. It was actually just the, the Boo character from Nintendo, just with I a different know. colorway. Yeah. Um one more time? I didn't know that. Yeah, Boo was one of their original uh, design concepts. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to... It's a tie for me between uh, Piranha Plant and Bullet Bill. <laughs> I like Bullet Bill, bro. Look at him way up there top left, him and all the homies rolling out. Uh, there's definitely, you know, there's the huge-ass ones that take up half the screen. I remember seeing it for the very first time, like, yo, he's too big. Right. I was supposed to duck underneath this thing? Uh, and then there's, there's levels that are hella challenging because they're shooting off like in different directions. Yeah. And you got to try to like drop between them as they're flying by. Piranha Plant, I, I've grown more to like Piranha Plant over the years. Especially, well, I think it's just because when they put him in Smash as a DLC character, I could see him move around more instead of just being stuck in the green pipe joint. Right. Um, but then he is making his own. Uh, oh, yeah, and there's several bosses of them. Look yeah, at the yeah. black with the red spikes, the purple one. 
I don't um, like when he got legs. I thought it was perfect coming because the pipe was so original too. Yeah. Green, the classic green pipe. So for him to be just like the dwelling thing in that was dope. Once it started walking around, I was like, hmm. But the Piranha Plan is dope. It's dope, bro. It's definitely going to have its own little uh, sh spotlight at the upcoming Nintendo um, Nintendo World over at Universal Studios. So I'm excited to see, see him even in that, like real life Piranha Plan. Yeah, right? Yeah, bro. So those are my choices for best uh, enemy. Nice, I, man. I would I, I I would definitely agree with Boo, but I think my second place would be Thwomp. The Thwomps have been dope in every rendition of the game, even Mario Kart. Uh, those are the stone guys with the face. Yeah. Uh, there's um you know I I do believe there's actually a difference between the ones that fall and the ones that walk around, right? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. One of them only go up and down. Another one of them only go like go left, right, up and down. And another one, another group of them walk. Yeah, I, I think they might be even called uh, different things. But yeah. I'm just for the sake of me not knowing the other name, I'm gonna group them all together. The stone uh, monsters uh, stone that I know are the swamps. Uh, and even in the 3D version, they'd come up to you and fall down, and you had to like smash, smash like uh, do the smash drop on their back. Yep. Uh, I, yeah, and even their appearances in Mario Kart, they've always just been a really dope character for sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, what you think, Kadeem? Oh, you I, already said, uh, I already said my, my boy, my the shy guys. Speaking of which, I, when we get a chance, I need to show you guys the special uh, attacks. If you play the the Mario soccer game, all uh, these all these side characters are like you know you play you play with a main main person. Obviously, you play with the Mario and Luigi's, and you have little side. Uh, Characters with you, so you can choose side guy, you can choose uh, Koopa, you can choose everyone, and they all have different type of special attacks, so they're, and they're actually crazy good. So is it the soccer yeah. one, Aces? Yeah, uh, no, this is called uh, Super Strikers, is what they call it. Okay. It's a, it's a good, like if you look at the actual how they set up that game, holding it up, you'll see they they took a completely different take on Mario completely. So who's this who's this little fake Waluigi in the corner? That's a baby. No, that's baby uh, Waluigi. Look at him. Huh. I've never seen him. I, what game is he in? I would not know. Baby game with the rest of them. Like he just has the yellow, the pink nose, like while Luigi does. Yeah. All right. Do it. Let's move on to the next level, which is best Mario villain. These are the main enemies: Bowser, Baby Bowser, Waluigi, Wario, even Donkey Kong. I guess. Bowser. 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 His design. His powers, it's Bowser, bro. Like even seeing him evolve through the years with Mario, like him, the original Super Mario Brothers in Nintendo. He's just like, did it, did it, He like, just, it's so two D, but you can still tell how big he is, the design, the spikes. And then when he was brought to three D world, bro, like he looks so cool. Like I think that's a really cool looking villain for the uh, the Nintendo universe, bro. You got all the bar, the Bowser kids. Bowser Jr., Ludwig. No, that's not Ludwig, right? The one with the blue hair? Yeah, Ludwig is the one with the blue. blue Ludwig is Izzy, which I think is the one with the green. Yeah. Um, and Le then... Lemmy. Lemmy. And uh, one that Wendy. Spike? Wendy. Wendy. And I forgot the, I forgot the, the pink-headed ball one. Chris or something random? It was something random. It's, it's the most random one. <laughs> like Ryan or something. Yeah, it was yeah. Just, yeah. completely off like, compared to everyone else. Random. Bowser, bro. Bowser, which Bowser though, because I agree, but which Bowser do you think is the worst or the best one? Like the best villain, which Bowser did it right? And don't say Odyssey because he had a top hat on. <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. The top hat just gets you out like it's a no go. What's the What's the Super Mario game where you got to grab him by the tail and spin him out of the thing to be the six four? So I've only seen playthroughs of that, and I love that design of Bowser. I do. No, I mean like plan wise, like which Bowser was the best villain? Oh, damn. Plan wise. You got me stumped there, brother. I wouldn't be able to give it to you. I wouldn't. I might have to do 64. Like 64 was a good run cuz you he had to go through a lot for that. Like everything else was kind of low key a chase. This one you had to like 64 you had to figure out where she was at. Like you had to go through worlds to go get her. In in the castle though, like even yeah. the setup of uh, like I'm I'm hiding ten stars in each painting, and you have to go through to down to the basement, you know, on top of the roof, like to the moat outside, like literally. 
where you're used to going world, 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 world. I agree. That was a pretty solid plan. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> so you're going with Bowser for your enemy too? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, my best villain is um, not Bowser, but uh, someone who I think is a little bit more devious than him. Not, uh, you know, I think definitely is more sinister and villainous than Bowser out of everybody in here. And I think that person is the most slept on villain throughout the Nintendo series. Peach. I knew it. I Peach knew. is a fucking villain. Uh -oh. And she is the best at it. Two dudes going out for her love, knowing she getting her back broke by both of them. And this woman consistently puts the kingdom in jeopardy because she can't decide which dick to sit on permanently. And I applaud that that's how they're riding this story out. Peach is the best one. That's why she don't like Daisy. When Daisy came around and Rosalina was coming around, she's like, whoa, whoa, hold on. We need a real housewives of the Mushroom Kingdom. Peach going to be the star of it. Best in fact, out. she's not a housewife. It's, it's her kingdom. First of it ain't King Mario or King, well, it is King Bowser, but hmm. She got the walk. It's kind of <laughs> weird that he's King Bowser and she's, you know, the princess. I never saw that connection. Maybe they maybe they do got a little something, you know? Mm. I don't know. I, I, I don't... I, I, the Odyssey, in Odyssey, the whole thing, he's trying to marry her. Like, that literally is what the game, that literally, the game ends with him trying to marry her. Just saying. Pretty creepy. Pretty, Pretty creepy, creepy, Bowser. Just yep. throwing that out there, guys. Just, just, just give us some thought. You can't blame her for getting kidnapped. Yeah. I, I can. If it's multiple times it's happening, it's like, okay, you're the princess and you ain't prepared for this? That's true. Where is her security? Why is her oh, security? It's a bunch of toads. Hey, 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 don't you put this on the toads. It's a bunch of toads. Security. That was the case. Mario need to stay their ass there at the castle to protect her. But what's Mario want to do? Oh, he wants to go to Delfino. Yeah, that's what he's, it's his fault. And he went with Peach, to be he fair. He went with Peach. Yeah, oh. together. She's on the plane. That's her bodyguard, a chubby plumber that's half her height, that don't even live there. He has to travel there. Like, she's been kidnapped? Let me go jump in a pipe instead of just living there because she has nobody else there with hands. Hey, there's a reason why he don't live there. Every time she was kidnapped, there was no fight. <laughs> All right. He's just like, I'm taking her. And they were like, nah. They're oh no, oh, not Mario. again. How could this happen? Cause you wanna call there. Mario. That's why. You're supposed to be the security guard. He is her security guard. I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, because the thing like, no, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't we make that up? We made that up. Didn't we made we? that up just now, yeah. That's right. I Man, that's how good we were. I really, because Jumpman security, and we are the ones that made that up. All right. So never mind. <laughs> My villain. I'm going to go with, I mean, of course, I can go, I just got to go with Bowser. I got to go with Bowser. Too, man. Bowser is, He's so good, and the, and of course you see the, the the like I said the evolution of Bowser, man. If you played Bowser's Inside Story, man, that's when you really start throwing hands. Like the yeah. whole the whole what we see now in Super Smash Brothers. If you played Melee and then went and then played Brawl and then played the, the Wii U one and all that, if you literally put the evolution of Super Smash Brothers, you see that evolution of Bowser, and he because now he now he's a monster. He's amazing in that game. I'm so, sorry. I'm sorry, I just gotta go back to this, man. I just gotta thank y'all on just how creative y'all are. Cause I really convinced myself that Jumpman security was a part of Mario's origin. Hey. I really like low-key forgot that we made that up. He did not start off in the Jumpman force of the Mushroom Kingdom and work his way to the top. Nope. Jeez, I really fucked myself up with that one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the final level, the boss level. Uh, we've been praising all of this Mario stuff this whole time, and now it's time to pit them against each other. What is the best Mario game of all time? Can you, can you break this down? Because are we doing just Mario titles or Mario feature uh, movies? Just Mario. We're not doing Smash Bros. No Mario Golf. We going Mario one through three. World. Tell me if I forget one. Sixty four. Sunshine. Galaxy one two. Three D World. Odyssey. Oh, uh, land. Is that one? Lands. New Super Mario. My bad. Those are the ones I missed. 
All right, I'm stuck between two. Mine's is, of course, Mario 64 and Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. Those are the two I'm stuck between because Super uh-huh. Mario World, I like, bro, to this day is still classic. Great. That is a crazy game. Yes. And just 64, of course, like, it broke the mold, like, introducing us to a 3D Mario and just every, like, just, and then just like how you said, the concept of the story, really low key, that was kind of the first time we got that. Cause like normally we know what happens like or we wouldn't really know what happens like we just know like peach has been kidnapped this is the first time like 64 we saw it happen and then we had to go do something about it yoshi's, yoshi's cookie. cookie yeah i remember yoshi's cookie that was a porn title <laughs> Sorry, I'm going... i, I didn't have to pull out the whole list of this is literally like all of them so yeah i got was... it resume I'm going the nintendo mario joint that's only because i haven't played the n64 one i mean i haven't finished it. I played it but never finished it. Never went through the um Galaxy of Sunshine. And then any of the other ones like the one with the ice cap that we brought up earlier. The new Super I played, Mario Bros. I played Odyssey and uh I really did enjoy Odyssey. I thought it was pretty cool. Um but that Super Nintendo one man it's just I feel like everyone, no matter what, has touched that game somehow, yep. some way. Yep. And I don't know if it's because it came with the bundles or what. It was a bundle. It was a bundle? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got that, and you got Super Super Nintendo and that together. So, Damn. well, that's if you had that, yeah. But if you like, it came out um, with with the game, right? Yeah, it that came with All Star. Yeah, I don't think it came with the All Star. I think it came just for Super Mario, Super Mario World. Oh, okay. right. so, and Kadeem, did you guys play Super Mario One, uh, Two, and Three? No, I don't know. Played it that much. We literally we started with them. World. I did. I, I started off with One, Two, and Three because I had the First one that had it was Super Mario Bros. slash Duck Hunt. So I had that, I had one. that one. Yeah. Then I had two and then uh I didn't have three. My brother had three and then refused to ever let me have it. He was like, No, you can play it here. Okay. So I stole his whole Nintendo. <laughs> I gotta go sixty four, man, with Mario World as a close second. I don't necessarily know if that's wholeheartedly how I think. This is how I think right now. Mm. <laughs> but I don't know. You're right. Everybody has played Super Mario World and enjoyed it. It's really for everybody too. So yeah. I don't know. That 3D jump just sold me on it, though. Like I, I don't know. I think it's. I think I'm going 64. I'm not mad at that, bro. Like it, it's a, it's a hard battle between it because it's like as many moments as you have with Super Mario World, you have probably equal, if not more, moments with 64 as well. So it's just really if like yo yeah like you know you can't win either. you can't lose either way I mean no big facts. Kadeem, I am gonna go with Galaxy. I'm going okay. Galaxy. I I I you see my, of course my brother's shaking his head because you saw how much time I put in. Oh, it. it's so good. I got not third. Me. Third, sure. was, uh, I go. I ain't even played it. That's the third one for me. Just seeing like when it was pulled up and everything like that, I feel like it's Odyssey, but like less of it. And that's yes, what exactly. it's, all the best parts too- of, it's all the best parts of Odyssey concentrated on that. Odyssey mm-hmm. took that and was like, I can do all of this. And yeah. they did, but yeah. it's all the best parts of. Uh, exactly. I mean, I've beaten Odyssey. I've beaten Galaxy. I've beaten 64, beaten World. I've beaten a lot of them. And honestly, I can say that Galaxy is the best one wholeheartedly. Yeah. Like it's great, it's great, man. So. Now, just to spice things up, does your ans- answer change if we open it up to best Mario title, including sports, fighting, party, all that? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, and you know that. So, can I give off a, a, a another great. version we could do? What? Play, download, delete. Super Mario World sixty four. Galaxy. I, I got mine. So go ahead. I'm playing down. I'm playing Galaxy. I'm downloading 64. I'm deleting World. Yep, right behind you. Right behind you. Yeah, sucks, but those other two ain't going nowhere. It ain't even sucks. It's like, yo, Galaxy gotta be that fire if you can Bro. stay. That <laughs> yeah. I like Galaxy more than Super Mario World. That let that be on record. Yep. But in terms of best game, 
in the whole titles, I would put uh, World before Galaxy just because of what it was. But I would rather play Galaxy over World any day. That good. You know what you got? I guess I'm going to go play um, Super Mario World. I'm going to download Galaxy, and you can get rid of 64, bro. Like, I don't need to relive it. It's okay. I am so sorry, Pat and Khabib, because I'm rolling with Cleo's exact choice, bro. Like, if you haven't played it, then yeah, that makes total sense. But I got, but the thing is, like, it's like I got Galaxy, so it's like I don't really need 64 and just World, just like we said, but World's just perfect. World was like they climax to one, two, and three. It's like, bam, now we got this. Right. You're right. Like I said, you can't lose in any of these games. You really just can't lose. It's not an obliterate. That's 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 all that matters. You can't obliterate the Godfather. He's not going anywhere. You're never getting rid of Mario, bro. We're gonna be thirty years from now, and guess what? A hundred years of Mario. It's gonna. Hundred years. years of Mario. No, I just thought, like really think about that though. We're gonna hit like we're gonna be here. You know. You know. Fingers crossed for 70 years of Mario, just because it's the 35th anniversary now. The next 35 years, like, just imagine where it could possibly be. Like, imagine Kid Cloud, you know, got little Kamehameha powers and a Link Sword. Like, tell me about Mario, Grandpa. Well, they, with all these remasters, they're probably going to remaster it so they're like, here, put these glasses on. You're in Super Mario World. And they're like, what the? <laughs> no. No. Do, 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 do. No. They're probably going to do their parents. I'll put these glasses on, throw fire at your ass. You better chill out, mom. So wait, if we opened up the entire Mario universe, what's your favorite game ever? Smash. Smash? The first Smash. Mario Kart. Smash. Mario Kart. Ultimate game. or what? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. You say ultimate? Close tie. Close tie between the, fir- the very first one, though. I spent me and, you know, a lot of my memories, for sure, my childhood are for sure the first Smash. Yeah. Playing with my brother, Dean, playing against all our friends. Smash, the first one, and then, of course, the newest one. But if I had jail, if, I, if you were in jail for life and you had to take one game in there, are you taking the one that gave you more memories or the better game? I'm so, taking the better game, and that's Smash, and that's Ultimate. Ultimate Smash. All right. What about you, Will? I'm going Mario Kart, man. Mario Kart had to be Switch? like that's, Huh? On Switch? Yeah, on Switch. Like, if we were in jail, like, yo, like, some, <laughs> I got a not bid I got to do, like, yo, Mario Kart, because I'm completing all the tracks, and then, of course, that can save my butt from getting fucked by just, hey, two on two? Two on two? Well, that's, Break this up. Here you go. Let's go. The question. There was no threat of that. Uh, <laughs> you said prison. There's always a threat of that if you mention prison. Yeah. Or could, it could have been solitary confinement. Could have been a weird jail. Why would I have a switch in solitary confinement? I, you don't get nothing in solitary confinement. This was a completely made up question where you got a video game. So well, you you threw you know what? We're not gonna do dick in it. So <laughs> hey, what is yours? I, I'm actually gonna go with the Mario and Luigi saga. Not many people no, I, don't, I don't think you guys have ever played this. Listen, the Mario and Luigi Superstar saga what? is is this okay? It is. It, it's it's sounds it's like fun. It's an RPG. It is an RPG of Mario. Oh, I remember you playing that. It's an RPG. It's an amazing. It's uh, an amazing RPG. Is like, it Mario it is. RPG already? No, I mean there is Super Mario RPG, but this is this is what like that was on the Super Nintendo. This one right here though, the Superstar Saga, is amazing. Nope. Yeah, you I know guess. how you know how we are with portable games. You know we don't really like do that here. And listen, I'm gonna the let you know right now. I can game. play this inside myself by my damn self. You gotta go to a TV to play everything y'all playing. Here, right? Here's the thing, Kadeem. This 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 is what I want you to do, if you wouldn't mind, one. sir. I'm not gonna bash the uh the handheld era like these two are. All right, because I remember F Zero on Game Boy Advance, and that got me through a lot. Right. We need to have an episode where you like just how we just did now. Take us through the best, the worst of what handheld has to offer. Pitch us like Shark Tank. What was the what's the best console we should be playing on? What game should we be playing if we decide that we want to test this out? Okay. I I mean, of course, the Nintendo Switch kind of like killed that with the whole hybrid thing, but it's okay. I can make. It do. I can make do with what I have. I'll make that work. All right, then. 
I can make that work for you guys. And Luigi's Superstar Saga. Yeah, man. It's great. It's great. It's it's actually it's on the Game Boy Advance. Fake. Damn. Like, Mario I, is like skinny, tall, kind of. like. He's, he's, he, it doesn't look like that when you play. I'm just letting you know. That's a terrible just picture. Just artwork. Yeah, oh, that's okay. A, that's a terrible picture of what it looks like. It does not look like that at all. Um, let me... But I mean, you guys can close it. I'm going to pull up a, a video of it, but y'all can keep going. All right. Well, I mean, was uh, that was that the final level? Um, That was the final level. I think I'm sticking with my answer. I think 60, 64 was the best Mario game ever. I think you got the whole, you got the gist of everything in Mario, and you got to stay in the castle, which was dope. Um, oh, was that saying the, like me saying Mario Kart, was that replacing my other ones? Yeah. Oh no, then I'm sorry. No, then yeah, I take that back. My bad. I didn't know that's what that was. You're no, just saying like out of all the side stuff, that was your favorite? Yeah, the side stuff that was my favorite. But just like if you include the side stuff, man, I'm probably still Super Mario World. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 solid. That's pretty solid. I forgot I have this little boo right here. Boo. <laughs> boo. All right. Well, that has been another episode of Arcade Tokens, the podcast. Uh, shout out to Nintendo, 35 years of killing it. Here's the 35 more years. And thank you for this remaster. Jeez, this, I'm, I cannot wait to get back in the galaxy. And you might actually make a fan of Cleo. We will, we will see to it. We shall that. see. I look forward to it, man. I do. You guys have talked about this game a lot. So I'm excited. As long as it's not like Abe's Odyssey. It is not like Abe's Odyssey. No, 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 sir. No, sir. Uh, but as always, we have been the Arcade Tokens. I'm Patrick Cloud. Real Thomas, I came Mr. Slick Living. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Thank you, as always, to Kadeem, the tech god, and we will catch you next time. We booing out of here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>